To replace an auger motor, first ensure the unit is unplugged from its power source. Locate the square headed set bolt positioned between the auger motor and the auger block bearing. Loosen the set bolt by using a 5 16 inch open end wrench or an 8.516 inch socket. Disconnect the two wires from the auger motor. Slide the motor out of the end of the auger shaft. To reinstall the new auger motor, make sure the flat side of the auger motor shaft lines up with the set bolt. Insert the auger motor shaft into the auger shaft and tighten the set bolt. Reconnect the two power source wires to the auger motor. To replace an auger shaft assembly, remove all pellets from the hopper. Remove the auger motor using the procedure previously described. Remove the four one half inch bolts connecting the auger bearing to the feeder housing. Slide the bearing and auger screw out of the feeder. In the event that the auger or auger bearing has to be replaced, we must detach one from the other. Remove the three quarter inch shaft collar. Loosen the two one eighth inch Allen head screws located on the auger bearing. Slide the bearing off the end of the auger shaft. Whether replacing the auger bearing or the auger screw, we recommend you install a new PU-ABGN auger bearing gasket. Slide the new gasket onto the end of the auger shaft and slide the bearing onto the auger shaft. Place the shaft collar on the end of the auger shaft and start the screw through the hole in the side of the auger shaft. Now pull the bearing flush against the 3 quarter inch collar and tighten the two 1 8 inch set screws. Replace the auger assembly back into the feeder tube. Start the top two one half inch bolts, but do not tighten at this point. Replace the auger motor support and start the two bottom one half inch bolts through the shelf and the auger bearing. Now that all four bolts are started and loose, pick up on the bottom of the auger motor support, snug the top right bolt, Rotate the auger in a clockwise motion, ensure that it turns freely. Snug the top left bolt. Now tighten the bottom left. Tighten the top right. Then tighten the bottom right and then the top left in a crisscross pattern. After tightening all four bolts with equal pressure, spin the auger shaft to ensure that it is turning freely. Replace the auger motor. Tighten the set bolt on the flat side of the motor shaft. And connect the power source wires.